Who's your weight boxing? It's boxing for more kind of like the regular guy that is looking to get into shape, but it's not necessarily looking to go to the gold gloves. Sort of a fun way to compete, do something a little bit different, and a great way to express yourself in a generally safe arena. I talked to my friend Peter up in Chicago. He had been boxing out of Windy City Gym, and I'd sparred with him a little when he came to town, and we'd both been boxing for probably about five years at that point. And I told him, let's say, hey, let's box for our friends, see what it's like. And I found a yard that we could have it at, my friend Patrick, and we decided to go ahead and have a boxing match on Memorial Day weekend. And we wound up going three rounds, and probably about, about 50 people, I guess, showed up, and. You know, we're knocking each other down, getting each other bloody, and having a good time, and I, I think it went pretty well. And then from there, we went to my own backyard, and we kind of made a makeshift ring, and we had a couple of fights on that card. Pablo, the Jab and Jew, fought uh, Dave Stokes, and I fought Peter again for a rematch, and people were getting such a great kick out of it, and they really enjoyed it. I thought it brought people together. Then we went from there to more backyards, and then we stepped up to uh, City Museum for a couple of fights in South Broadway, and now we're gonna, the next fights are gonna be over at uh, an old police station called Mad Art, and we keep changing it, making it bigger, and evolving, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been so much fun. When we go into the ring, we're fighting. We're boxing. We are hitting each other hard. We're trying to beat the other man or woman. Uh, we're hitting them as hard as we can. We're trying to keep our own balance and try to keep going. And it's not easy, but that's also life itself. I think Hoosier Weight Boxing has sort of tapped into uh, sort of a communal spirit, and it's brought, uh, again, a sport that a lot of people witnessed from afar and made it literally very close to them and people they know, uh, in environments they feel comfortable seeing the sport in. So I think we've brought it out of, again, sort of a shadowy world and into a, a different shadowy world, maybe a, a different sort of fun world that people can kind of appreciate. I think it's great that somebody that didn't have any kind of formal background in, in throwing sporting events or or boxing at all would, would start something up and get all kinds of people involved in it throughout the community that are involved in music and art and you know restaurants, bartenders, you name it. So it's a nice mix of people. I'm really glad that I got to be a part of it. I never thought that I would be in a ring boxing anyone, but here I am, so anything's possible. I've heard of my opponent. I scoped her out a couple of nights ago. Uh, she looks pretty tough. I've heard she's tough. Uh, we'll see what happens in the ring. Be afraid, because I'm coming for you. Well, okay, so Dana McDonough got scared, backed out. Steve found me another opponent, Rose Martelli. Again, she must have heard how hard I was hitting girls and uh, got scared and backed out. So I'm undisputed. I love boxing as a sport, not only to do it, but to watch it. So hopefully there'll be some blood, some sweat, some tears. Somebody's gonna walk away a winner. Too bad it can't be me though. I'm gonna buy mama a new pair of shoes. I think it's the first uh, uh, boxing show inside an art gallery and police station. This is the female Cruiserweight Championship belt, and this is how it works. Too many people just kind of sit back and bemoan of what they don't have or what they want to do or what they could have done and I don't want to ever have to be in that position. Um, I might not be doing this for the rest of my life but I'm doing it and I will at least have done it and I'm 
so happy that I've had this opportunity. All of us were creating this opportunity for ourselves to make this happen. It's, it's kind of cool. It's really fun.